1969, New Brunswick became bilingual. Premier Louis J. Robichaud introduced it this way. The aim of this bill is the extension of rights for all New Brunswickers. It in no way diminishes rights now enjoyed by New Brunswickers. On an individual basis, it is the right of New Brunswickers to be and to remain unilingual or to speak two or more languages. The objective is to ensure that no unilingual New Brunswicker finds himself at a disadvantage in participating in the public life of our province. With respect to the civil service, the fact that a man or a woman is unilingual will not be a hindrance to the appointment and promotion in the civil service while other qualifications being equal. I think that this is a fair bill, and if all is treated fairly, implemented fairly, and harmoniously, I believe that it will lead to a much better understanding. Now let's fast forward to 2015 and hear what the New Brunswick Commissioner of Official Languages, Catherine Dontremont, has to say. Okay, and speaking of rights, doesn't an Anglophone New Brunswicker have a right to work for the provincial government? No, <laughs> no, absolutely not. And that if you think that this is wrong, which we do, I invite you to join us today and lend your voice to the growing call for change.